using a Venn diagram to solve a problem or problems. Here we've got some Venn diagrams represented different things because they're shaded in. Um, set A is the students that take A level maths, set B are the boys and uh, we have to pick out the right diagram and the right number. So we're given an example, S is the nine students that are boys and take an A-level maths because they are both in the boys group, the boys group and the A-level maths group. So they're boys taking A-level maths. So we've got to pick out a Venn diagram whose students taking A-level maths. So that's just the one which is completely coloured in A. So that's diagram P. And how many students take A-level maths? Well, there's seven and nine, which is 16. Which diagram are the students that are girls who do not take A level maths? So they have to be the ones that are outside A, so on the outside of A because they're not taking A level maths, and they have to be girls, so they've got to be outside B as well. And the only one which is outside A and B is the diagram Q. And how many girls are not taking A, a not taking A level maths? So you've got 13. Take away seven which is six girls. The shaded part of the diagram the students who are boys who do not take A-level maths. So we're only left with diagram R. Boys not taking A-level maths, that's clear because they're in the boys section but not in A. And the boys not taking A-level maths are seven take, 17 take away 9, which is 8. There's going to be four marks if you get all six right. Um, three marks for five right, two marks for four right and just the one mark if you only get three right.